Hi everyone, I've just come to share with you a journal that I've completed. Um, this, well I've been working on this for about three days. Uh, on and off doing other projects as well. This journal here measures uh, eight and a half by five and three quarters. It has one chunky signature, as you can see. I've used a clasp envelope and I used um, this distress stain here, which is Grand Espresso, to cover the clasp envelope. And I've done some mod podging over the front. I've got this image here and the sentiment here says cherish. <clears throat> We've got some eyelets and some seam binding as a closure. And let's go inside. <clears throat> can't remember how many pages are in there, but um, it will be listed on my Etsy if anyone's interested and all the details will be on there. So I've created a side pocket here and I've just done some stamping and we've got a large index card here. And this is from Tsunami Rose and I've just backed it onto some cream cardstock and done some uh, inking around the edges. I've got a pockets here and it says beautiful you on this tag it's just mainly filled with pockets and tags and journaling space um, just making sure I'm in frame this flips up so you can do some journaling and I've got a tag in there uh, some journaling page here tag and a doily here I've just made a bottom tuck and got some journaling cards in there. Here I've made a pocket and again another tag. All the, ta all the tags have been stamped um, with a sentiment. Another pocket that says just a note. All the tags have got some seam, uh, not seam binding, some eyelash trim. This flips out for additional journaling. This envelope here, it's not holding anything inside of it, but it's from Tsunami Rose. And that's just, just held in there with a paper clip. A tag here that says love. And this image here is from uh, Marion Smith. Got a pocket here, a journaling card, and another envelope that you can tuck things inside. <clears throat> got a Rita Donnelly flip up tuck here. It's got some lace, a butterfly, and a uh, ticket there. Some edge punching on some of the papers. Uh, this is from Dreams Etc. This flips out for additional journaling. Here we've got a pocket, um, little journaling um, tab here and a ticket and a butterfly. This image here is from uh, Dreams Etc. some tucks here and here. This is the middle of a signature. Another you can journal on here and I've got a tag. Another tag inside here. Here we've got a tuck and this is a, just a little journaling piece and this is from Marion Smith as well. This here is from my family's vintage garden. Another envelope that you can tuck some bits and pieces inside and that doesn't want to go back in. I'll do that in a second. <laughs> uh, this flips out. Another pocket here, I've got some lace here, and this is from Tsunami Rose.
another pocket and a tag. Here we've got a side pocket and it's actually like a double pocket. Um, I kind of made this into a pocket as well. This flips up so you can do some journaling and another tag. Another tag and a flip up. And lots of people are using this um, pocket here. Um, and some people have actually said that it's my creation and it's not. It's um, Rita Donnelly, who is GMRE Scrap. Is it Scrap Shack or Scrap Shed? Scrap Shack. <laughs> um, and she came up with this genius idea. Um, and I know a lot of people are using it, so that's who actually came up with it, was Rita. Another envelope here. This flips out. Another tuck. A doily tuck here and here. Another doily tag. Another large tag inside there. This is from Ephemera's Winter's Garden and the back page is um, a pocket and I've done the stamping on here, the same as the front, the large index card and this is from Tsunami Rose. <clears throat> oh, I'm all fing fingers and thumbs because I'm having to stretch around the tripod. I'll just put that back in a second. <clears throat> um, and the back is plain. It's very dark, um, but the cover, because this ink here is called Grand Espresso, and it's much darker than the inks that I've normally used. I thought I would give it a try, since it had the coffee theme in its name. Um, so like I said, this will be listed on my Etsy if anyone's interested. Um, I do have some kits on there as well, and I haven't done videos of them, but there's just um, some ephemera kits where they've got tags and just envelopes and all sorts of things that you can use in your journals, so you can take a look at them. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions, just ask, and thanks for watching. Bye.